uh, we are basically associated with the finance commerce but the security city that is in the tiny as we have uh, found that two multiplied by zero is equal to two but two divided by zero is equal to undefined a uh, cube inclusive manner uh, you know say why this call that is undefined two divided by zero so actually uh, it is not our subject so just you are the specialist you you are the professor of professor i believe is not age as far as your knowledge is concerned so i respect you so in that way could you explain according to your way that two multiplied by zero uh, is equal to two no it's zero. Zero. zero but two divided by zero is equal to undefined but why a very good question um There is actually a very common answer to this that I will just repeat. So, for example, if you think about numbers as they get smaller, like for example, let's say we have two million. If we divide it by one, this will give us two. Uh, wait, if we divide this by one million, we will get just two. Right, but if we divide this by one hundred thousand, then we will get twenty. If we divide this by ten thousand, we will get two hundred. If we divide this by one thousand, we will get two thousand, and so on. So as we get smaller and smaller, once we get to one, we will get two million. And as the denominator gets smaller. The answer only gets larger and larger. So theoretically, the answer should be infinity, right? But really, that comes the question of what we call in math cardinality. I'm sure a lot of the pure math students here have heard of this. So basically, it's just the study of the real size of infinity. So if this is infinity, what is one over zero? What is two over zero? What is three over zero? Are they different from one another? Should one be bigger than the other? What is two times infinity? Is two times two over zero four over zero, or two over zero, or what? <coughs> so we can't really definitively say that it is infinity either. So instead, we just leave it as undefined. 